Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back on another video from Gigguk on his second channel, Gaunt, and today we are checking out... I wasn't prepared for this isekai, so I think this is going to be another, like, newsy kind of video, but it seems to be talking about the, um, Suicide Squad isekai. I haven't watched the trailer myself, but it seems... I Again, <laughs> I would imagine it's people have been isekai'd into the suicide squad. I don't know. Biggest thing that came out for me, though, on Twitter was people kicking off about the person who's playing Joker. They were like, oh, design's cool until I've seen that, like, the, the, the smile's drawn on. And it's like, shut up. Like, I don't know. Right. Let's just see. <laughs> Let's just check out the video. How is it that the criticism just to say the Suicide Squad Isekai is going to suck is based on the fact that, hey, it's Harley Quinn. It's going to suck. <sighs> Hello, my yeah, I have, weebs. I don't understand the concept, but let's hopefully this will educate me. And gamers, I am back in Japan. Normally, I like to do a monthly recap on all the exciting... I did check that out. Anime news, but so much has been announced during the weekend of AX that I anime had to Expo. Go through every crazy thing that was announced. First off, this news came out of left field. If you could have asked me to predict all the like out, out of, of left nowhere. field things that was going to be announced at AX, this was not one of them. I did not expect a Suicide Squad Isekai yeah, in weird. collaboration from DC and Studio oh, and to be announced oh, at wow. AX. What the fuck? What world are we living in right now? Crazy. So I just googled a random article. I just read the title of this. Yo, DC's Isekai anime is already gearing up to be a disappointment. What the fuck? We, we know like Ow. one thing about it. What the fuck? Yeah. Journalists be like, I've seen one frame of animation. It's gonna suck. What it's do gonna you think be gonna bad. Be, uh, now, now I'm genuinely curious. Shit. The clickbait work. I am genuinely interested why they already think it's going hmm. to be a disappointment. <laughs> One trash article. Did this leader. article come from a redditor? What? No, I, I'm I'm a, I'm actually a fan of the Harley Quinn design. If you could ask for that one looks character cool. that would work, that does actually look sick, right? But the whole East Kai thing, how does that work? In anime form, Harley Quinn is just a fucking yonder. Come on, of course she's gonna mm -hmm. work in anime form. All right, oh, non-CG dragons. Yeah, let's that was go. cool. What is this? Let's go. W already a W. Uh, Oh, no, wait. It's okay. already one of the better East Kai's to come out. I was going to be like, what? Do Harley Quinn and Joker get East Kai? Did? Mm -hmm. From what I can see, it is going to be set in your typical Isekai fantasy world. Right. We have dragons. We have monsters. And none of oh. those are going to be in Right, so CG. it is that way. From the looks of it. I'm not going to lie. This does seem like a concept where you're just like throwing ideas on a dartboard and just seeing, seeing where they land. which two ideas yeah. would stick. Having said that, is this even the most crazy isekai concept to be made? <laughs> no, actually, Suicide Squad... Like the vending machine one's working right now, so... Squad isekai, in the grand scheme of isekai, is probably the most normal isekai concept. Yeah. It's not even the most crazy isekai airing the season, for God's sakes. I am not a comic book fan. I'm not specifically a Suicide Squad fan, but am I going to be watching this... <laughs> Guys, is, is, is that a question? Is that a question? If it's on Crunchyroll, I'll definitely check it out. Question. DC looked at me and was like, how do we get people like Gigguk invested into in DC. DCs yeah. and comic books? And, you, and then they were like, Isekai. And I'm like, damn it. Damn it, I hate that it works. One of the things that excites me the most, though, is that it is Studio Wit that is adapting this. Yeah. From what I can see on the trailer, from the staff members working on it, from the studio working on it, this has the potential to be more than just a gimmick. This has the potential mm. to be a genuinely could be good. good show. Do I think it's going to be incredible and like revolutionize the anime industry? I don't think it's going to be that. I think the concept is a bit too wild and out there. But do I think it's just going to be a ton of fun yes i will yeah, definitely be. be watching the suicide squad isekai and i do also think it genuinely has the potential to be good next up another trailer for attack on titan oh oh final season i think this is a pretty oh. short one i think they're both the same trailers let's just have a look. i can't wait when trash did a little all right that was a trailer that was a very very quick trailer do we have a date Oh, so that was the one that shows the house and that. That's yeah, all I, guess. I want to know. The Attack on Titan, the final season, part four, will premiere this fall. 
Guys, hold on to your knickers, clench your butt cheeks because it's- I can't wait to see the ending, man. Can't wait. Attack on Titan is finally coming to an end. It's just an hour special again, isn't it? To finish it off. Like, oh. And it seems like it's finally, finally, finally going to be this fall. I feel like I've aged as much as Eren waiting for this ending. I don't know how much hype it's going to be. I feel like a lot of the hype has already been killed by the fact that Attack on Titan manga fans and manga readers have already talked about it so much. This is like one of the they few hated shows the ending, didn't they? I'm just like, not uh, scored myself over. I, uh, I have no idea, but lands <laughs> at this point, I just want it to come. I've talked Hell yeah. about feeling hype fatigue for like video game announcements. I hype it up in my mind and then the video game gets released and then when it gets released, emotionally I'm like, eh, I'm already done. That's kind of the point I'm getting at with Attack on Titan right now where really? we've been getting trickled, just like trickles. Not enough to like fully hype us up, just like little trickles. I've said this before, but I really wish that they just released the final season all at once. And I really wish yeah. that they would just give us a date. At this point, I think I would have rather they have done movie releases. Because of course you're going to milk it. It's Attack on Titan. At least milk it the right way. Moving mm. on to the next one. I don't know who asked for this, but there is more Gundam Seed coming out. What? What? That's so bizarre. What? And it's not a spin-off. It is a sequel. A sequel? Who is asking That's crazy. for a sequel to Gundam, Gundam Seed? Gundam Seed? Ugh. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, oh I should have expected it for the mix. Because yeah, there was Gundam Seed, there was Gundam Seed Destiny, wasn't there? So then this is carry on after that? Mix look good, mix look good. Of course it's sunrise. Gundam Seed Freedom coming in 2024. It's a sequel to Gundam Seed Destiny. Right, so it does carry How on from it. How long has it been since Gundam Seed Destiny? Years. Where the f Years. Did this come from? That's I mad. Want a Gundam Seed Destiny. That's so weird. What a specific weird series to like choose to carry on from. I wanted a good ending to Gundam the Witch from Mercury. That's what I wanted. Oh, so you've seen how it ended. Yeah. I've not even seen too many Gundams, especially compared to your typical Gundam fan. How do you like Gundam Seed after Gundam Seed Destiny? I can maybe get it if, you know, it was just like Gundam Seed. It was a very good introduction if you've never seen another Gundam yeah. to the Gundam franchise. Right now, it feels like it was very dated. Even back then, it still felt a little bit it dated. It seems very strange time. To One thing that. I always remember remember watching Gundam Seed is just how much reused animation they used in the fight scenes. Even from the first time I watched it, I'm like, wait a minute, I've seen this piece of animation before. They used the exact same animation for the mecha fights in the fight like two episodes ago. A lot of the animation felt like it just happened in the deja vu dimension. I didn't the think the deja characters vu were, dimension. Love I mean, that. it was kind of like the most mid 2000s edgelord mecha protagonist you can think of, so but it was still kind of they've to And do then that. Destiny came along and just like what 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 the what yeah the fuck? any goodwill i had from gundam seed was completely killed off with uh destiny. gundam seed yeah. destiny destiny just fell off a fucking cliff and the fact great. that people still liked gundam seed even after gundam seed destiny uh that blows my mind one thing that i will say is and that it is one of the more on. popular gundam franchises so when i said who asked for gundam wing for life. For this, I'm sure there are a lot of people who still hold Gundam Seed in a close place to their hearts because it was the first Gundam that a lot of people watch. But I do not understand how, if you watch Gundam Seed and you watch other Gundams and other Do you want that you still that to enjoy be Gundam Seed? On to is, our uh... next piece of news: a new esports anime coming in October okay. 2023. I've been wanting an esports anime for so fucking long. See Seems like it's Give actually produced by or am I lying? We've had The King's Avatar, which uh, is a Donghua. So that's like a Chinese animation, which is right. anime enough. But I would like to see what the take would be if there was an esports anime Oof, made by me. a Japanese company. So before we say any more, let's have a look at the trailer, trailer. and see if this one has any potential. Yo, he's gaming! <laughs> Bro, 
something serious happened to him, and <laughs> now he has to game. Give him a tragic backstory. That's what I was just about to say. It's like, my God, uh, like I, I now live alone and have to game to earn monies. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. There's a fucking little sister in there, and there's a dead mom. This is Pete Gaming right now, man. No. This, is, this is Pete Gaming. Power of Rainy Protocol. Where's the gameplay? You can't, you can't give me an esports anime. Yeah, it's like it's about esports, and don't show the esports. Me trailer, not show me what the game looks like. First thoughts, it looks pretty generic. Unfortunately. Okay, let's let's see the synopsis of this. Kensha Ono is playing the protagonist Shun Tokinoya, a 17-year-old who juggles school and a part-time work to support FYI, his mother and sister. This is by the same studio as one of your favorite anime. Trust me. Okay. But, I don't know what, what that implied, but I guess we'll see. The latter of which is unable to walk due to an accident that claimed their father's life. All right, all right, guys. It's it's not hmm. dead mom. The father left to play League and he never came back. No. What is the animation production company? Who is Quad? So Quad have made basically two other shows. They've made this show, which I don't remember. And they've made the most cursed anime to come out in the last 10 years. That's, that's, that's great. Well, I really what? hope that what was the protagonists that? don't oh, have God. that dog in him. I don't have high hopes for this. I saw the headline and I was, I was like, great. We get to see an actual esports anime. I thought that the King's Avatar was as close. They always drop it, don't they? It's like, um... I've not watched it myself, but there was that idol anime that came out last season, and uh, everyone, well, I remember Google saying, oh, it'd be interesting to see, you know, like, uh, we actually s behind the scenes of what it's like, and blah, blah, and then it was just not, and it was like, ah, oh. so they always seem to take a concept and never really, like, go the direction that people want to see to an esports anime that we were gonna get they've somehow taken what king's avatar did and they've made it even more fucking anime you know maybe king's avatar wasn't anime enough you know what we need we need dead parents and we need a little Gosh. sister for him to cheer on as well why did they oh. feel the need to add all of these backstories for an esports anime <laughs> moving on we got a new trailer for spice and wolf baby Never i don't need to say spice more about and this. Wolf, man. i'm gonna have a look at the trailer and then i'm gonna talk about it Isn't this music good, guys? It's really Isn't nice, actually. Yes, so I do good. like it. Ooh. Ooh, that look. Is this the same voice actress? I didn't realize until now. I actually watched the dub of Spice and Wolf. I've never listened to the original Japanese voice actress. If liking Hollows makes me a furry, then sign me up to the next furry con. Oh, oh, who's doing Let's the music? Oh, wait. Is that Kevin Penkin? What? Yeah. My boy? My Oh, that's what. Oh, it's that's cool why that he knows it goes people. so hard. That's why. It's our boy. All right. Who's doing. Studio Passion is doing this. Studio Passion, the culture masters, the master of fan service and degeneracy. Hell Hold yeah. Up Are we going to get a full uncensored holo? Are we getting holo nips? This is one of the anime where it gave us a season two and then just fucked off and just left us with nothing. It became the meme for the longest time. And it seems like instead of Spice Morph season three, we are just getting a remake, which gives me hope that they're not just going to do a remake, but they're just going to remake the entire thing and go further on from where the original anime got to. I'm very, very invested in this. I am hmm. so hyped for economics. It's time to invest in Holocoin, okay? Holocoin is a new feature, all right? Speaking of first, is that the we with have them? gotten the final oh, season oh of my Beastars. And God, yes. I am excited for that. I have really enjoyed the first two seasons of Beastars. Absolutely sick, so... Intrigued to see where they go, because, like, the second season seemed to be quite a final end, but, uh, give me more. And if Spice and Wolf didn't get you to buy that fursuit, Beastars <laughs> definitely will. Furries right. rise up. It's, it's bittersweet, but I feel like this is right. Beastars is a series that okay. does not need... 20 seasons if they are able to wrap things up in this season and wrap cool. it up in a satisfying manner i will be 
very very happy my honest opinion is that i did enjoy the first season a little bit more than the second season. yeah yeah, yeah. i, I like did as well the second season was setting things up a little bit more what i loved about the first season was just being introduced to the world and just being introduced to the society and i felt like the second season I'm very, wrapped very a lot happy, of things up i'm very very excited to see how this series ends moving on we got another trailer for pluto if you don't know pluto pluto is a manga by who i think is one of the best mangakas of all time before i talk anymore let's have a look let's at check it this out trailer pluto in Switzerland? I didn't know it was based in Switzerland. Yo, my Swiss bro is finally getting some representation. Oh, I'm just so happy we're getting more sci-fi. I, I am so yeah. happy we're getting more sci-fi. I'm I'm very happy. And by now, curious hour as well. Woo! It is based on Astro Boy. This isn't the oh. Astro Boy okay. that... I recognize at least. Naoki Urasawa, like I was saying, is one of my favorite mangas of all time. Uh, my favorite manga of all time is one of his works, 20th Century Boys. 20th the Century fact Boys. that he can make a piece of work that I can safely say is my favorite is uh, a testament to just how amazing I think he is as a storyteller. And Pluto is one of his works that I haven't actually read yet. Now that this anime is getting released, I'm probably going to be watching this anime before I'm going to read the manga. Right. He also made monster if you don't know monster also right. another you've mentioned it a few times in your videos well. the most okay. interesting thing about pluto about the release of pluto Ooh. is that it Excuse is going me, to Jesus. be eight eight episodes each episode is going to be an hour long. Oh, so okay. This right. is more reminiscent to like a US TV series. I feel like that shows how like great the original source material is then if someone's actually willing to take it on and go right we're gonna do eight episodes and you go oh but they're gonna be like the first episode of every fate series long it's like ah it's like it's probably decent if a company is willing to do that we're getting eight hours of content which is basically a 24 episode series mm. i love the idea of that and the fact that pluto gives me a more old school og classic anime vibe oh, netflix are willing to do stuff like that as well though, actually, I suppose, really because about... one thing i've noticed about a lot of naoki urasawa's works is that they're the kind of works that you just get enveloped in his stories go so so deep that you need the time to fully immerse yourself in the stories that he's telling. So I think that an eight episode, eight hour long series is perfect. I haven't cool. been this excited for a new anime to come out in a long time. Moving on. We got My next. fellow Fate fans. Who has seen the new Fate Strange fake OVA that just came out? That It was amazing. It was amazing and okay also came out with that also came out with an official announcement for the tv animated series okay i didn't see this sick educate me i am so jealous of everyone who got to see the premiere live at ax because i didn't get to see it but i have watched it's Fate so Strange good fake and Woo! Feels good to be a Faith fan, man. It's back. So Faith is back. God damn. Not only is Gilgamesh. Faith fan, Daddy Gilgamesh is back, guys. I haven't been this excited for a new Faith project in a very, very long time. This seems like it's just going to be a fuck ton of fun. And mm. ever since Faith has had adaptations by A1 Pictures as opposed to Studio Euphotable, it's always been good. I've always held on to that hype that Euphotable gave me. What I really liked about Fate Strange Fake is that its animation style, even though it's still very much A1 Pictures, it really has its own identity. I yeah, really it, it loved stood the out. style and the animation style that it had. Like the Fate Go adaptations, the anime adaptations, felt a little too much like, in terms of just like pure art style, here's just another usual kind of like anime. Whereas Fate Strange Fake has such a unique visual identity to it. Uh, and a lot of that comes through its own animation style. And I really, really like that because it made it seem really really fresh oh, aside I loved from that it. i think I loved it's it. one of in terms of the ova is one of the best animated that i've seen since you football like this just seems it might not be the you know most cleanly written fate yeah because i don't know i haven't read strange fate so i don't know i'm ready for more fate i'm ready for shotguns yeah. and holy grail wars it's it's just gonna be great. oh mate. That was i'm so hyped my fate 
and type Moon Fan. I'm so or glad that it's actually coming it? back. Because Tsukihime Visual Novel Remake is getting an official release Hell in the West in yay, English. Yay, woo. All right. What yay. in what world do we live in Ooh. that Tsukihime is getting an official translation before this the original Fate Stay one. Night? I, I remember like the biggest meme in like the Nazi verse fandom was that Tsukihime fans were just like getting shafted left, right, and center. And now, finally, it seems like Tsukihime fans are getting some representation. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a good anime yeah, like, eventually is, because if you don't know the Tsukihime anime, mm. that, that doesn't exist, guys. We can only hope. We can only hope. Yeah, I was very surprised that this is getting an official translation in English, but this is just a W. A big thing is that Fate fans trying to convince people to read the Fate Stay Night visual novel. Part of the big reason for that is that you just can't officially read the Fate Stay Night visual novel. If you can do Tsukihime, oh. you can do Fate. You can do Fate. What else happened in Anime Expo is that Trigger had their panel and they officially announced what, what okay 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 a few things at that panel first Trigger. big announcement we have got more panty and stocking they are back we love the soundtrack to panty and stocking i've never watched it but i love it i can't remember who the guy is that does the music but it's so sick instantly recognize that i need to watch panty stocking and guard bell and then finally get more panty and stocking it's been 13 years that we've been blue balled by the most gynax ending you could possibly think of with the biggest cliffhanger they dropped a bombshell on us in an after credit scene and they were just like all right good luck see you in 13 years i will say i'm hoping that the original dub cast is back because i will probably be watching this in dub oh wait there's a trailer so, i completely blanked oh, on the fact go that ahead. Trailer. let's have a look at this trailer they got that 4k anime yo trigger you are spoiling us i was gonna say if this is a 4k teaser for a fucking logo i'm, I'm gonna flip It's gonna be a 4K teaser of a logo, isn't it? This isn't even 4K. Uh, 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 because this is from the original anime. All right, at least we're hearing some new music. Woo! What is that? Oh. Wow, that looks cool. You know what? I'll take the logo. I'll take the logo. I'm still hype hearing the original theme song. Man. I need to watch I the like series. I need to watch right the now. series, Woo! man. <laughs> Logo, let's all right, go. let's okay, go. Team, actually, that's all I need to know. Is it the original team working on it? That's all I really need to know for the original Panty and Stocking. Teddy Lloyd's coming back. It is going to be. That's the guy, much Teddy Lloyd. I downloaded so much of his music. Close to the original team as we can get, even though it's technically, technically, technically a new studio. When is it coming out? Uh, still have not been announced yet, unfortunately. It's not even but been it's announced happening, if this so is going cruel. to be a whole TV series. If it's So I'm going to wait. I'm gonna wait until I watch that first series. And then when this new one starts coming out, I'll start watching it. It's going to be an OVA. I hope to God it's a new TV series. But I am absolutely hype for more panty and stocking. I, I hope the magic isn't gone when it comes. This is one of my favorites, kind of like childhood memory shows, especially wow, watching okay. this and just discovering the staff members behind Studio Trigger and Studio Gynax. Speaking of Studio Gynax, it's been. 15 years since Guren Lagan, guys. It has been 15 years since Guren Lagan. Whoops. Oh, mate, if it comes out in cinemas in the UK, I am getting everyone to go see that. Holy shit. Let's go. I love Guren Lagan so much. I still haven't watched the movies, though. Me and my mate Steve, I remember, like, yes, this one, I was living with my mum and dad's. They were on holiday. Steve came over. We got drunk. And I was like, I've got the Gurren Lager box set. Should we watch the movie? It's cool. As soon as subtitles come up, we're like, we're, we're too drunk for this. Let's go to bed. <laughs> but it's been 15 years, but you know what? It's still peak. The emotions oh, that Gurren Lager has please. given me, still to me, has almost become like unmatched. The amount of hype that I got watching Gurren Lagan. Please, the actual release from the UK. To what Gurren Lagan please. Is still. It has aged wonderfully. I still it's think that so good. go back and watch it today. And it's still better Apart from than 90% of but... the shows coming out. And we're not getting any new Gurren Lagan, unfortunately. But we are getting a for an actual 4K re-release of the Blu-rays and also a theatrical release please, of its film. Now, please, I'm not normally one to please. go out of my way to watch 
films or TV shows that I've already watched, but you can fucking bet if please. I get the chance to watch Guren Lagan in on the, the cinema. big screen, if oh. I have the opportunity to experience please. the hype that Guren Lagan has in a cinema screen with yes. my fellow anime fans, bringing the hype, oh God, you know say. I'm gonna fucking do it. There are so Nacho, many cheese sauce, a couple of beers on the Whoa. big screen. Stuff like Guren Lagan, stuff that I never got the chance to see in cinemas. And I know this is never gonna happen. I know this is never gonna happen. I'm still waiting for a red line re-release theatrically. Oof. Even if it like doesn't release in Japan, I would buy tickets to the country that it's releasing in just so I could see that movie in cinemas. I think the worst thing about Guerin Lagarde is that it's so good, it's so hype, that to me, everything that the team including like Studio Trigger made after the Gurren Lagan, to me, at least felt like it tried to capture that same hype and over the top action that Gurren Lagan had. But so far, there's been series that have come close, but nothing has ever quite reached the hype of Gurren Lagan. No. Kill Kill has come the closest. But it was me, great. Everything that Imaishi has made, Gurren Lagan. Like Kill Kill was great. Like I loved it. And I remember when the uh, final, um, was it was an OVA that to finish off that came out on one of the, on the final Blu-ray when it came out in Japan, on the day, I was, I think it was Kiss Anime at the time, was it? Uh, I was refreshing, waiting for that to drop the OVA to finish the story off. Like, I loved it, but yeah, Trigger. Oh. On is still peak. All right, moving on. Hell's Paradise is getting a second season. Am yeah, I it surprised? is. No, nope. I have watched all and of And that's been announced, and this is... Something maybe people should think about. Chainsaw Man Season 2 has not even been a thing. And Hell's Paradise got announced before Season 1 ended. Hell's Paradise, and I'm like, one season ain't enough, baby. This Hell's announcement so didn't really surprise me nah. much whatsoever. Just because nowadays, I think 12 episodes, especially for a shonen show, is nowhere near enough to nah. get you really invested. Good ones. In I hope next one's 24. Really, like, give you truly a vibe of what the story this, is They started to off, they were checking it out, they were the testing what people thought. Of the shonen is meant to be. And that's how I felt after the first season of Hell's Paradise. One thing I really do like it about was great. Hell's Paradise is that it does have a more unique vibe to its world than a lot of other shonen and that comes from more uh. of like let's say the buddhism side of things and that it takes references from a lot of different stuff of doesn't like it nirvana and heaven and stuff like that having said that i enjoyed my journey of hell's paradise but after season one ended i'm like i would not be upset if i didn't see any more hell's paradise you know what i mean it hasn't got to i the get what you mean in hell's paradise i do get you i mean because it was so great like it was cool it was awesome and then like if we weren't to carry on I'm quite happy with where it, like, left off, because it was just all really awesome. But, yeah, if the next bit was to carry on and be shit, it would ruin it. Yes, yes. That has really sold me on what the hook of this show is going to be. What is going to be the unique selling point of the story trying to be told in hell's paradise but that's pretty much what i liked the most one thing that kind of put me off a little bit by the end is the introduction of this power system which is meant to be a power system that only the purest of humans are able to master where but they start uh, it takes years of training for your usual human to be able to like, grasp it takes hundreds of yeah but these guys have like been training in the the way that they realize so it's easier for them as soon as they click onto it to be like oh okay years and all of the fucking characters master it in like one episode they've not mastered it be watching mm. season two but it's but this kind of announcement definitely isn't the holy shit i'm going to drop <laughs> everything and watch news hell's paradise it's gonna yeah, be yeah. like hey i'll watch it when it's on moving on to the next <laughs> anime announcement we got the first trailer for the 100 girlfriends who really, really love you. I'll be what? honest, I didn't even know this was getting an anime. I had heard about the manga merely because of the concept. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I saw the manga and I was like, how can they make harems even more ridiculous? How oh can gosh. we get peak harem? And this manga was like, all right, bet. You like harems? Let me give you a hundred girlfriends. No. I know very little about this aside from just the title. So let's have a look at this trailer. 
<laughs> Bro, how'd you get stuck in that? Oh my god. Oh my god. We don't have a male hentai protagonist this time. We have a female hentai protagonist. All right, let me see. Let me see the girls. All right. Let, all right. All right. All right. All right. How many can we get through in this trailer? That's the big question. How many can we get through in this trailer? Oh, ice queen. Ice queen. Okay. Okay. Where's the emoto? Where emoto? That looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Aisha Rentero mm. has asked a hundred girls out and struck out every time. <laughs> Oh my god, this man god has bless. negative riz. You know, respect to the guy. 100 girls, actually... though. No, no respect there. He just is asking anybody. He's not going for, like, someone he thinks is going to be his girlfriend. He's like, I just need one. Having the confidence to ask out 100 girls? All right, okay, fine. All right, for, yeah, yeah. Having the respect... <laughs> to strike out 50 times and still being like, no, this is the one, this is the one. Actually kind of Chad mentality. In desperation, he prays for guidance. Only God can save him now. Only to be told by a God that his rejections were due to a cosmic mishap. Weaves, there's your excuse. You don't have negative riz. It's all just a it's cosmic in the, the universe doesn't want you to get bitches. Each of the 100 oh, dates is Aijo's destined <laughs> soulmate. Worst, if he doesn't return their feelings, they all die in horrible and hilarious accidents. What? <laughs> what? This what? guy went on a date with, she died horribly. Actually, it's pretty funny though. I am definitely going to be watching this anime. Who knew that all I needed in life check was it out. Squid Game Harem? From the trailer, the animation doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't seem like completely generic. I like the character designs. This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Moving mm. on, this one caught my eye. We have an actual VTuber anime being produced. Yeah, but we had one already. And this one caught my attention because I do think actual VTuber anime does have potential to be really really interesting because we had the kizna right, okay, anime yeah, that yeah. aired last season and that was such a big disappointment i don't want just like vtubers doing an idol anime i want an actual vtuber anime Behind giving me the, the entire scenes. process yeah, of yeah, making yeah. a vtuber and streaming and what that's all about because i genuinely think that could be really fucking interesting oh oh it is a katakawa <laughs> property okay okay you have my interest 20 years ago former wage slave yuki tanaka now works among her idols the streamers of live on one of japan's top vtuber companies she delivers only the most ladylike content unfortunately her subscriber count and savings are at rock bottom oh. i relate man she fell off one evening after yuki thinks she's ended her stream she cracks a few cold ones and more than a few crude jokes Yo, someone's doing a speed run to get graduated. Hell now free yeah. of all the feigned purity, she jumps right into her new rowdy drunk character, is welcomed <sighs> into the me. fold by her fellow live on VTubers, who turns out is just as crazy as she is. Yuki's work for the first time in her life is actually fun. Actually sounds- So she just decides to just drink and go for it. <laughs> it's like a decent concept. This is the VTuber concepts I wanted. This one also seems like it might be just a cool story revolving around VTubers because I think that with how many people watch VTubers right now and with how many it's people are just investing huge in audience. online space in general, huge. I think there's a lot of potential just for a show purely about the online influencer space. Definitely has caught my attention because this could be that one. It might not be, but I'm definitely going to give it a watch anyway. Moving on, we got some live live action anime adaptation announcement i know we have been very much anticipating mate that new trailer was sick i think this is gonna be all right anticipating the one piece live action but i it think it's gonna like be all right it's just been the start because alita battle angel two and three i've not even watched one but like from what i've seen Oh, I need to watch it. It seems decent. Seems to be confirmed by James Cameron. And Sick. out of all the anime adaptations, a lot of them I roll my eyes at, but Alita, I'll, I'll give it a pass. Alita is that one anime adaptation where I'm like, okay, you didn't suck. In fact, you were good. Did this change my mind about anime adaptations? No. I think it's still good. It wasn't like, holy sh**, Balls to the Wall was amazing, but it was good. Yeah, and it seems alright. It just says a lot about the current climate of live action anime adaptations. I still never got over how Alita looks. She still has that uncanny look where I'm like, I get that you're trying to be an anime, but you freak me the f*** 
out. Aside from her, I, mean, I yeah. finished Lita Battle Angel. You know, I, I watched the original movies and I had a good time, which is more than what I can say for a lot of other live action series. Part two and three kind of makes me feel the same way I did with Hell's Paradise, where I'm like, I'll watch it. I had a good time with the first one. Speaking of that, one punch man as well which i didn't originally have in my new cycle sony pictures taps justin lin to direct one punch man adaptation of the manga oh no classic so this i no no uh this one makes me sweat i yeah, uh, don't mm, know well, i mean don't i feel comfortable with that no Vin diesel or saitama <laughs> Uh, yeah, go on. Vin Diesel or The Rock at Saitama? <laughs> kind of, I got you, kind of would watch. No. I mean, the reason why One Punch Man <sighs> is it. so good. Leave I'm not it. surprised that this got picked up for a live action adaptation. Just because One Punch Man, I think, works just because of how much superhero stuff is coming out right, right. now. And one of the yeah. reasons that people outside of anime can still enjoy One Punch Man is because it kind of felt like a parody of the whole yeah. superhero landscape right. that we're in right now. Having said that, it's just... How are you going to do the fights, Justice, in One yeah. Punch Man? One Punch Man is the most anime fights you could ask for. I've thought about it. I, I do remember the one live action film that I've seen that does anime fights well, which is Kung Fu Hustle. If they were to do oh, yeah, One of course, Punch yeah. Man adaptation, it would need to be like Kung Fu Hustle levels of fun to really sell me on the action scenes, you know? We have had... A Make it funny. Suicide Squad yeah, yeah, yeah. Isekai being announced earlier today. Next up, Polygon Pictures is making a new Spider-Man. What is okay. up with the comic book industry tapping into the anime market and the Japanese animation market? This is also kind of out of left field. If they are doing... They're basically going, oh, do you know what? Our Spider-Man um spider-verse videos are doing films are doing so well let's just keep doing animated spider-man stuff a japanese spider-man adaptation mm. i do hope that it goes with the vibe of the japanese spider-man from the few out of context clips i've seen japanese spider-man is basically like super sentai and kamen rider with a spider-man suit on if they do do that i hope they go down that route you know what comic book fans i'm always going to give anime the opportunity but in this first spider-verse film have a girl that had a mecha spider-man costume it's not studio orange it's polygon pictures they're still like a pretty good 3d anime studio they're mm. not the best that is reserved for studio orange oh, orange really, is really sick goaded. but polygon pictures i'll give a pass i don't have too much expectations on this this one was just pretty unique to me and finally we can finally get to end things off with Crunchyroll's announcement. Firstly, oh. they dropped an absolute bombshell on us by announcing a new season of Black Butler. Which Never seen it. I am um, have no feelings towards. I know Connor uh, so. is very, very excited for this. <laughs> I personally am not the solo leveling. Black I am fan. excited I've for. Heard that season three very excited is for it. Better, but season two kind of wasn't really my cup of tea. But it doesn't matter. The ninety three percent exists, and it is actually going to be a sequel and not like a remake, not a side story, not anything like that. One thing that did pique my interest is Studio Cloverworks. Their adaptations have been hit on miss in the past sometimes they've done a really really good job and sometimes they've given us promised neverland season two and uh, uh, but, visually <laughs> speaking every time i see cloverworks i know that visually they are always super consistent and they are always super consistently good so that to me is a w for black butler fans not only that they released a new trailer for solo leveling which to i'm me, looking forward to it i was interested in I i'm not gonna say too to much this. let's give this one a watch all right i am coming into this with cautious optimism man Crazy. how fast are they gonna go through this if they're introducing all of these characters didn't these characters come in like 50 chapters in or something 35 holy shit there must be speed running this adaptation then Oh, uh, best girl. Best girl has entered. Hmm, gentlemen. I've got a bad feeling about this one. I, oh, no. I am not feeling this one oh, at no. all. First red flag for me. This is a heavy, heavily 
action focused show. Where are the action scenes? This is the second trailer. First one, I can kind of look over. Much. This is the second trailer, the official second trailer of one of the best action focused art wise manhwa that's come out. Where's the action? That has me really worried. Second red flag, as I've said, some characters that are shown in this are characters that are like 35 chapters in. If this Damn. is going to be adapting solo leveling, they must be speed running it to get to some of these other character introductions. Even though it was Hiroyuki Sawano, where's the hype? If you're gonna bring the Hiroyuki Sawano for his hype, where was the hype? And I mean, oh, in damn. general, for a manga with some of the most gorgeous art, the art in this just looks pretty generic. I do not have a good feeling about this <sighs> one, guys, if I'm being honest. And the biggest thing is we did not see any shadows. And you know, I've been preaching the good word. You know, the biggest thing that's kept me up at night, if solo leveling ever got an anime, was how the fuck are they gonna handle the shadows? Cause I know it's gonna be CG. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. That's very, very unfortunate. What is this? Crunchyroll also debuted a new trailer for the upcoming A Returner's Magic Should Be Special Anime Series. What's this about? Let's just have a look at this. There it is. There's your CG dragon, guys. There's your CG dragon. Is this a manhwa as well? Whoa, what? Reincarnation, reincarnation. Reincarnation? Yeah, it's an Isekai. Okay. Ah, Reverse he's reached that point in anime now. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, I'm invested. <laughs> you know Seems what I'm right. super into right now? In Japan, it's all about Isekai. It's all about getting Isekai to another world. In Manhwa and Manhwa, like one of my favorite tropes is not Isekai. It's reincarnation, but we're traveling back in time. It's doing the new game plus. I fucking love that trope. Right. This is the yes, next level. We've got entire of Isekai. That. It's okay. We have reincarnation now. Ah. Shit, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this. Hmm. Yeah, the animation okay. doesn't look fantastic. I, I'm, I'm watching this. This is the trap that's like made for me man i'm already more hyped than solo leveling well you definitely have my interest is the mm. art for the manhwa good yes i might just go ahead and read the manhwa then because like i said the action for that didn't look fantastic but the concepts made me feel like yes yes this is the junk food that i love i'm in i'm invested and of course Crunchyroll also announced that they're doing an NBA collaboration. Another one that just came out of nowhere. Random. I'll take uh, more collaborations with cool places, but I'm like, what is uh, what, is, what is going on here? At the end of the day, do my Hero Academia fans watch sport? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Interesting. Subscribe to there. Very interesting stuff. Give it away like that. Uh, the Suicide Squad East Coast, I'll give it a go. Like, there's nothing really to base it on at the moment. And everyone's like, ah, it's like, wait and see. Um, yeah. And it did seem like he'd seen the ending to Mobile Suit Gundam, which from Mercury. Because he was like, one, like, when he was talking about the Gundam's. Serious, excuse me. I would like him to go forward with that because he was huge on it. Huge on it. And then, yeah, because I, I thought the ending was terrible as well. But anyway, make sure to check out my Etsy shop. Links in the description uh, for t-shirts and hoodies that I've designed. And thank you to my patrons. If you have your, if you want to have your name at the end of every video, I upload a link in the description to the Patreon page. $1 a month is the last bell challenge. Greatly appreciate that. Guys, for that. Thank you all for watching. What do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe, already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what I should watch the guys in future videos. See you guys, all you guys, next time.